gentlemen. Starring Chuck Connors. Sonny, you mustn't fool with firearms. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I have a big surprise for you. I have here, for your inspection, a 1795 genuine flintlock used by none other than Daniel Boone himself. Here, go ahead and look at it. Feel how heavy it is. Clumsy compared to our modern rifles. Yet, old Daniel, with that very rifle, could shoot the eye out of a scampering jackrabbit at 100 feet. Yes, siree. Well, son, I can tell from the way you handle that rifle, you must be a crackerjack shot. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll load that rifle up and we'll show the folks just how good you are. How about that? Oh. Well, uh, I've never really fired a rifle before. Well, you're certainly old enough to learn. Thanks, anyway. Well, maybe some other time, huh? Son, this street is no midway, and I don't want anybody to get hurt, so uh, would you mind tucking that thing away? Oh, yes, sir. I sure wouldn't want that to happen. Well, that's all, folks. Be sure to watch for the circus. The exact date will soon be announced. Sure seems like a nice fella, doesn't he? Yeah. A oh, boy? Oh, I've been asking you an awful long time now, and uh, can I... Would you let me have a rifle? Oh, wouldn't you say I was old enough, Micah? Well, I'd say you were putting in plenty of time, Mark. Is it really asking an awful lot, Pa? Uh, I just use it for hunting rabbits and possum, and, and I'd never take it off the ranch. Well, son... Yeah, I'd be real careful, Pa, and, and you'd never be sorry you let me have it. Please. All right, maybe you are old enough at that. Mark, that's a Winchester center fire. The half magazine holds six shots. It's a 4440. That's too much, Angus. Uh, what about that Winchester model 73? Let's see, that's a 22. I've only got one. It's not new. Took it on a trade for a centennial model. But I've worked it over and it's in perfect order. I can let you have it for 750. Feels just right, Pa. There ain't none better. It's a real smart gun to start the boy out on, sir. If you don't mind my saying so. You like this model? Oh, I cut my teeth on a 73. Taught me to be mighty respectful of all guns. I am already. I'm Mark McCain. This is my Paul Lucas McCain. Pleased to meet you, sir. I'm Marty Blair. I hope you don't think I was too show-offy out there in the street, sir, but, well, it's just part of creating interest for the circus. You handle yourself well. Thank you, sir. Uh, are you staying long in North Fork? Well, I'll rest up a bit today, then I'll hit out for some more towns tomorrow to let them know the circus is coming. I'll take a box of 44s. Oh, would you like to come out to our place for lunch? I'd be real pleased to, Mark, if that's all right with you, sir. You're welcome to come. Oh, thank you. All right, Angus, we'll take the rifle. Oh, Pa, thanks. Thanks a lot. Hey, Mark, let me show you something. Put the rifle up to your shoulder. Now, don't drop your elbow, Mark. Now, let it down real easy on that target. Miss. Patience, patience and practice. Come on, I'll try it again. Miss again. No, nah, that's a little better, Mark. Look, sight easy. Now draw in your breath. Now don't let it out until you've squeezed. I've got a lot to learn. It's not as easy as it looks. Pa, I'm not so good. Keep on missing those bottles. Ah, uh, you just keep practicing. He's a real steady hand, Mr. McCain. You should see my paw shoot. Show him, Pa. <laughs> I sure couldn't top that, Mr. McCain. No, sir. You're still pretty good, though. When'd you start shooting, Mr. McCain? 
I was young. Too young. No, I don't believe a boy can be too young. Makes him that much better when he grows up. That's where you and I disagree, Marty. Did you ever kill anyone, Mr. McCain? I've had to shoot my way out of a few scrapes. Have you ever shot anyone, Marty? Well, I never shot at anyone that didn't shoot at me first, Mark. That'd be the same with you, wouldn't it, Mr. McCain? It is. It's getting near supper time, son. You'll stay for supper, too, won't you, Marty? Well, thanks, Mark, but I have to be getting back to town, clean up and get a good night's rest so that I can get an early start in the morning. Will I be seeing you again? Sure, I'll be back someday. Meanwhile, you just keep practicing and keep that elbow up. I'll remember, Marty. Oh, thank you, Mr. McCain. As I said, I'd like to stay, but I'd better keep moving if I'm going to do a good job. Marty, how long have you had the job? Better than five years. Where's the circus now? Just finished playing around Ohio. Should be somewhere in the Great Plains now, heading toward here. So long, Mark. Were you like him, Paul? No. Well, I guess no way I was, son. Come on, inside, supper. Good afternoon. Howdy, ma'am. I'd like an overnight room. Certainly. Please sign the register. Well, you're the young man that put on such a fine show on the street this morning. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Oh. By the way, could you change a $50 bill for me, please? I think I can. Let me check. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, forty-five, fifty. There you are. Thank you very much. Now. Could you recommend a good place for dinner? I sure can. Right inside. We have choice steaks on our full course dinners, including seconds on the vegetables for 40 cents. Mm, sounds mighty good. Only dinner always tastes better if you have someone to enjoy it with. Would you care to join me? Thank you. I won't be at the hotel this evening. Perhaps another time. Sure. I'll be riding through again. Room 201, Mr. Blair. Just at the top of the stairs. Fine. Thank you very much. Seeing you look prettier than you do tonight, Lou. Back in Ireland, they used to say, when you look at the full moon, it gets stardust in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, I forgot something. What? My shoes. Oh. Your shoes. Good night, Lucas. Good night, Lou.
Somebody get Doc Burridge. I was coming back from the stable. I saw this man running out of the back door. I tried to stop him, but he shot me as, as I... He's lying, Micah. It's possible, but... He shot at me inside. I got him through the door after he ran out. There's nobody else. Did either of you see well enough to be able to swear it was him? I just said he was lying. But can you prove it? You're mighty lucky, son. Half inch lower, it might have struck an artery. Lou, would you mind staying in the room with him for a while just to get some sleep? Of course not. The safe was open, but the thief was evidently scared off before he had time to take anything. Can I talk to him, Doc? You better wait till morning. He's in high fever, but it'll be broken by that time. Was the other man hit? There was no other man, Doc. Well, I understood the boy was chasing a thief. You understood wrong. We'll know more about that when we talk to the boy. The man was running out of the back. I tried to. Be careful, son. Don't move. He might open the wound. Keep him quiet, Lou. I'm telling the truth. You've got to believe me. Shh. You can talk tomorrow. You don't believe he's telling the truth, do you, Micah? Trouble is, like you said, you didn't get a look at the thief's face. We'll get to the bottom of this Lucas boy. He ain't going any place for a while. You're more than right, Micah. A bullet pierced the nerve's end. He's liable to be left with a partial paralysis of his right hand. I suggest that we let him rest for now, and I'll be around early in the morning, Lou. because I'm going to visit Marty? I think that's plain without you asking. Then tell me not to go and I won't, Paul. You feel you have to visit him, go ahead. Paul, I remember you telling me something once. That if you believe in something or someone, no matter what the odds are, you should always back your own belief. I'm not telling you anything different now, Mark. I'm not just being stubborn, Paul, but Marty's my friend. There's been some sort of a mix-up. Everything that's happened points to his being the thief. He strikes me as a born liar. That's just the way you feel. Granted. Then tell me not to go. You're old enough to own your own rifle. You're old enough to make your own decisions. No, I'm going to be fine in a couple of days. Gee, I'm certainly glad you came to see me. I didn't think your pa would let you. Well, he wouldn't stop me. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I'm not mad at him, Mark. Now, you tell him that for me, all right? I don't hold no grudge. Sure. Um, my pa, he, he feels the same. He, he's sorry it happened. I wish I could believe that, Mark. I'd feel a lot better if I could, but... you don't have to lie because of me. What do you mean? About your father. He's got no use for me, Mark. Even before the shooting. I could sense it that day I was showing you how to use a rifle. You could tell even then? Anyway, I sure am glad to see you. Yes, sir, I sure am. <laughs> you were saying? I've been trying to contact the circus like you suggested. But all I could gather is that it left Springfield, Ohio a week or so ago and... It's... Now, well, somewhere between there and here, no telling where. Well, that checks with what he told me, but still doesn't disprove my theory. That he's using that circus for a front. He doesn't work for it. If I knew you were right, it'd give me something extra to go on. But it may take me weeks before I'm able to find out. In the meantime? According to law, his word's as good as yours. I can't hold him without an identifying witness. Once the doc says he's sufficiently recovered, he'll be on his way. That boy could charm the bark off a tree. Or kill a man if it serves his purpose as well. Lucas, you mind if I say something as an old friend? Go ahead. It's a personal matter with you. Even beyond the hotel shooting, Mark has taken quite a shine to him. 
He sees something in him, I sure don't. Maybe it's something you don't want to see. Cora? I've been to see Marty. I know. He doesn't hold any bad feelings. You know, I do. Usually when it comes to judging people, Mark, we pretty well see eye to eye. What is there about this Marty that makes us feel so different? I wish I knew. What makes you like him? I just do. Can't always explain those things, but... Maybe it has to do with his not being much older than me, and yet he's all on his own. Able to do what he wants, and able to take care of himself and go where he wants. You've got to admire that. Why do you feel the opposite of me? I thought it was his smile. It comes too easy. He's too polite with it, like he's pressing to make you like him. Anyway, after something Mike had told me today, I don't know if that's the real reason. Mark, I have an idea which can prove which one of us is right. You plan on seeing him again tomorrow? Yeah. This will be asking you to play kind of a trick on him. But if he's the person you think he is, it won't matter. And if he's not, well, it should pretty well prove he was the thief at the hotel. You willing to take a chance? Well, looks like you've got your appetite back. Oh, I feel much better, too, Miss Lou. I can't thank you enough for looking after me. That's all right. Miss Lou, do you believe what Lucas McCain said about me? I don't know, Marty, whether it's true or not. But if it is, you might not be so lucky with the next bullet. Hello, Mark. How's your father? Fine, ma'am. Thank you. You got a long face today, Mark. Something bothering you? No, not really. I know it's your pa. He doesn't cotton much to your visits here. Well, I understand it. And I want you to know how much I appreciate you coming. But, Mark, I don't want to come between a boy and his pa. Well, that's all right. Pa's not holding it against me. Anyway, you won't have to be bothering much longer. Doc says I'm doing real good. Be able to try my legs in a day or two, then be moving on my way. With your hand still in a sling? I got my other hand, and I can still ride. I got to keep moving, Mark, so sir, in my keep. I guess so, but I, I just didn't want you to leave without first proving you're on the right. Do you want to prove your pa wrong? I don't care about that, and I don't think he does either. He just wants to get at the truth, even if it's not what he thinks. Listening to you, I believe he does. Maybe there's a way of it happening. I heard him and Micah talking, something about locating where the circus is traveling. They sent a telegram to a town up ahead, so they should be getting an answer pretty soon. What kind of a telegram? Checking whether or not you've really been working with that circus. If you have, they, they figure you'd have no need to rob that safe. But if you've been using those circus posters as a trick, they... You act as if you believe that's what I was doing, Mark. Well, I, I can't help thinking it's possible, but... But honest, Marty, m mostly I believe you're just what you say you are. Mark, you've been a real true friend. A real good friend. Now, I don't want you fretting about that answer from the circus. Now, I have to get some shut-eye. Will I see you tomorrow? Sure. So long, Mark. So long.
I couldn't stay home, Pa. I'm sorry, but I just couldn't. Don't make me this one time. Please. All right, close the door and come over here. Quick. Now you stay behind this hay. And if anything happens, don't you move. Yes, sir, but nothing's going to happen. I know it won't. And if you're wrong? Then I owe you an apology. Same goes for me. daylight in about an hour. Then we can go home, son. there. I've been waiting for you, Marty. Just occurs to me what Mark said about the telegram was a trap, wasn't it? And all the time I was wrong. You're nothing but a liar. A liar and a thief! Listen to me, Mark. Listen, please, and try to understand. I've been on my own since I was a kid. I never had any break. I was kicked around. No family. I was trying to find some place to roost. Well, I tried to make it go with the circus, kid, but... Well, they just didn't pay enough to take care of me and my horse. Now, I know I caused a lot of trouble here, but... You gotta believe me, Mark. It's one thing I'd never do. I'd never hurt anyone. That's something I'd never do. Don't trust him, Paul. I apologize for being wrong. Mr. Angus, I want to return this rifle. What's the matter with it, Mark? It's me. I realize now that, that I'm not really ready for it after all. Couldn't get the hang of it? No, it's not that. It, I just... Please, will, will you take it? Uh, Paul left me at the wagon when he went in to see Mike, and I want to get back there before he does. Sure, Mark, if that's what you want. Mark? Angus, my shells come in yet? Yes, sir. Whole new shipment. Got them in the back. Good. Like I was saying, uh, this fellow being older wasn't any wiser. He was taken in, too. Well, you can't always tell a book by its cover. Still, you have to give someone credit who'll stick by what he believes until he's proven wrong. One way to learn is to make the other fellow prove his point. I'll put this on the charge. Fine. Well, come on, son. Come on. Oh, uh, Mark? Didn't you forget something? What's that? Your rifle. <laughs> 